in Dallas, Texas, uh, for our game, The Contender. Uh, what we are going to have to do is go through every single one of these cards to make sure that they are legit, that they are what we want them to be. Uh, and so I'll do a few of them with you guys, uh, but I did want to just give you also a look at this. This is... Our hopefully final proof of uh, the box. So that is the front of it. The game of presidential debate, which for uh, for the Wikipedia, uh, we went from political to presidential because presidential kind of sounds cooler. We have that as the side. That's the side of the box with our two logos here, the action cards and the topic cards, the contender, that's the other side of the box, and here, look, dude, how awesome does this shit look? Um, the contender is a social card game inspired by the vim and vigor of a real presidential debate. You know, it gets to the point, John, where it's like we've written so much shit for this that like... Like, I know that I love the phrase Vim and Vigor, but I forget where that came in. It was just like, like, I, like, it, like it's, we're so far removed from it that now I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. I like the way that that sounds. And I'm like, yeah, because you probably wrote it, you dick. Yeah, like, right. of course you like, like oh, it. that's a fun thing. It's like, who, which, which one of us did that? Was that us? Was yeah. that Cuts and Glory? Uh, to win, you must use facts, attacks, and distracts. Uh, oh, I might be covering the mic with my finger. Facts, attacks, and distracts uh, to convince the moderator that you are fit to lead the free world. The deck uh, brings you hundreds of one-liners based on real presidential quotes that you'll combine to beat your opponents in the debate of the century. Players take turns debating the issue uh, drawn from the deck of topic cards by combining the phrases on the argument cards to create the most convincing arguments. Uh, we are right now made in the USA. And if you order now, <laughs> then you will get... A made in the USA deck. I cannot guarantee that that will always be the case because doing shit in the USA is really, really, really expensive. Uh, uh, politics are all about uh, the antics from Blowhard Rhetoric. That's our fast uh, company. Uh, our fast company uh, quote. Our keep dead quote. And we got a names on it. A game by John Teasdale and Justin Robert Young, funded by Kickstarter. Designed by Guts and Glory 2015, the contender. Look at that. Put a bird on it. Right there, the logo on the back. Um, Corey Roush asks, any way to order one now that the campaign is over? Corey, I'm glad you asked that question. Because you and anybody else, we have the attack knight here in the background, standing, standing vigil. Uh, you and anybody else who wants this game, oops, this game in your life can go to thecontender.us right now and get it pre-ordered. In fact, if you want it, as soon as it comes out, you need to go to thecontender.us and pre-order it right now. Because if you do not, you will not get it when everybody else is getting it. So... Uh, let's go back to this box. Dude. Opening up. Opening up the box. Oh, we're also doing like very, very, very boring logistical, uh, logistical conversations. We'll get to that in a second. Alright, so this, we're opening up the box. Uh, welcome to the presidential arena. Uh, we got the eagle on that side. Welcome to the presidential arena. And then Is anyone the, there um, international? Maybe give me their address and I can see if... Uh, <laughs> Alright, question. Is there anybody that is not in the United States watching me right now? If there's somebody not in the United States that's watching me right now, uh, 
Do you want to? We want to give your uh, email address out so they can email you your address. Uh, yeah. You don't have a public facing email? I do have a public facing email. Um, no, I guess I don't have a public facing email. You're a public facing email. Dude, you're gonna like stream on Twitch. How do you not have a public facing email? I just started. I don't know anything. Oh my I'm god, there. you're so embarrassing. All right, uh, if you are out of the country, do me a favor and uh, email me. Uh, if not your address, then your neighbor's address. Uh, to uh, maybe you'll get something. Who knows? Yeah, email me your name. Wait, no, we just need a fucking. I don't know. Google a Wendy's in Australia. Oh, this is more fun. Yeah, whatever. Uh, or a Wendy's in Toronto. Who knows? Let's get back to this. This was all right. We were gonna have you send us your email addresses so we could check on shipping. Rates. Uh, all right, so this is the card that you get when you open up the box. Candidates, welcome to the presidential arena. During the following debates, you will use your attacks, facts, and distracts to convince America that you are fit to lead the free world. 40 topic cards. Each card contains a topic and a question related to that topic. Topics include gun control, education, women, corporate handouts, and more. Candidates use argument cards to respond to the question. And we got 460 argument cards. Candidates string together multiple argument cards to create the best argument uh, attack opponents or rally the public to his or her cause his or her cause fill in the blank spaces on cards with a topic from the uh, current topic card oh by the way John could you retweet this on the contender yeah. uh, the official Twitter uh, and then we got this the setup whoever has the most presidential hair is the first moderator everyone else is a candidate all candidates draw five argument cards John made that first rule because he has the most presidential hair and he just wants to fucking cheat. Uh, uh, gameplay, the moderator draws a topic card and reads it to the candidates. The candidate to the left of the moderator. Oh, Corey Rouse just ordered! Shit, son! Uh, the candidate to the left of the moderator responds by playing one, two, or three argument cards while reading the text aloud. After playing, the uh, candidate draws until they hold five argument cards. Play continues in a circle until each candidate has played exactly three cards. Candidates who do not play all three at once take several turns. Winning. At the end of the round, the moderator awards the topic cards to their favorite candidate. That person becomes the new moderator. Whoever collects the most topic cards wins. And of course, you can find us online at thecontender.us or at Contender Game on Zit Twitter. So that's the box. That's the packaging. I will stream a large group of people playing, uh, getting progressively more drunk. Uh, dude, this game is super fun uh, while drinking. It is super fun while you are sober. It is super fun all the time. The last time that we did a play test on this was maybe the most fun I've ever had playing a, uh, a, a card game. Now, granted, part of that is because I was so fucking nervous to try it. Because, you know, <laughs> we've raised a bunch of money and we're going to be spending a lot of money to make this thing happen. Uh, all right. Let me ask you all. Do you want to see some cards? I can show you guys not only some of the cards that were not in the press deck that we've never seen before, but also we can see on uh, the, the politically incorrect deck. All right? So I will show you all of the cards in the politically incorrect deck if I get three retweets. I gotta get three retweets. I'm gonna fucking whore you guys out. <laughs> three retweets, and I can see it right here on the screen, and I will go ahead and show you every single politically incorrect card. We got one. A Mary Porian. Uh, will you put cards on the table? Uh, we're just gonna have to show you uh, the, the, the proof, the big sheets, max power. That's two. Oh, three, four, five, six. Oh my God. All right. You guys fucking, you guys did it. You fucking, you, you cracked the code. All right. Let's get down here. Let's. All right. So again, 480 cards are in the deck that, uh, you know, is, is right there. Uh, this, what I'm going to show you, is another deck that will only come to people who back the Kickstarter. We do not... Well, that's 500 now. 
No, sorry, 500. 500 cards there. But the Politically Incorrect deck, that is only available for people who backed the Kickstarter or pre-ordered early in the, the, the process. Because we had to cut that off. Because they're too fucking expensive and we're never doing these again. So, these cards are, are very unique. And they're the only curse cards we have in the deck. Shit, look at that. Fucking Teasdale hype man. Uh, so what you're gonna see here. How did you mute me just that? <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm not the strapping young Muslim socialist I used to be. It's a Barack Obama quote. A good one for us to start off. <laughs> Someone needs to get laid. John Adams. Clean that shit out of your ears. Well, let's actually read the freaking quotes that go along with these. Alexander Hamilton's projects all arose from a superabundance of secretions which he could not find whores enough to draw off. Boom. What a president. Uh, I'm trying to get it so I can focus the, the bottom text too. So there we go. Clean the shit out of your ears. Uh, open the eyes, clean the shit out of your ears and pay attention. That's an uh, actual Chris Christie quote. Why don't you just kill yourself? Those who want, uh, that's a Harry S. Truman. Those who want the government to regulate matters of the mind and spirit are just like men who are afraid to be, of being murdered that they commit suicide to, to avoid assassination. Uh, Sark Matt says Hamilton wasn't a president. Yeah, no, these are all candidates or presidents. People who ran for president. That was our criteria. Also, this is John Adams quote. Talking about Alex. Talking about Hamilton. Hamilton. Pay yeah. attention. Come on. Come on, we got a lot of these to go through. Uh, that's some blood-sucking bullshit. It's from Donald Trump. There's a real good chance, no matter what happens, I won't win. Because, you know, one of these blood-sucking politicians who's been bullshitting people for years will end up, you know, getting elected. <laughs> I love the you know part. <laughs> he loves you know. Yeah, he, he loves really it. Knows. Yeah. It's like, you know. You know. Just vote for me. Uh, listen up, motherfuckers. Uh, listen up, you motherfuckers. We're gonna tax you 25%. Is that for you? Listen, you motherfuckers. We're gonna tax you 25%. Saw that in a YouTube video from some Vegas things that he did. Oh my god. <laughs> no one's gonna fuck with me. These are all the Donald Trump cards that we did. Uh, they want to go in and raise the price of oil because we have nobody in Washington that sits back and says, You're not gonna raise that fucking price. <laughs> Uh, I haven't fucked anyone. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Boom! Oh. History making card! We understand that one. Uh, put your dicks away. <laughs> have you seen anything bigger than this? From Lyndon V. Johnson. Hey, hey, LBJ, how many cards can you play today? How about one more? Uh, I, I know shit when I see one. I don't know how much but I know the difference between chicken shit and chicken salad. <laughs> Move down. Uh, rape, murder, blight. Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, that's another thing that we did when we were uh, coming up with all these cards is we'd always fill it in with Christmas. Uh, so we couldn't, like, we would know whether or not it fit with something in general and not necessarily one of the really funny cards. Uh, this is Orrin Hatch. They learn how to rape. They learn to murder. They learn how to treat other human beings wrongfully. Orrin Hatch. All right. This is a big fucking deal. Joe Biden. This is a big fucking deal. Uh, great idea, Hitler. Uh, we allowed Hitler to come to power with the same kind of attitude of isolationism and appeasement. Amazing. Jean McCain. Uh, I've turned a trick or two by Hillary Clinton. Uh, we have no money when we got here and we struggled, you know, piece together the resources for mortgages, for houses, for Chelsea's education. That's an amazing quote by Hillary Clinton. Uh, I know who's asked to kick, Barack Obama. We talk to these folks because they potentially have the best answers on who's asked to kick. Uh, fucking Windows 98. Who will not love playing this card? Yes! You get to fucking play a fucking Windows 98 card if you got the politically incorrect deck. And it's on a blue card of death. It is. Uh, when, well, what I see is a striking pattern of behavior. A Microsoft competitor emerged. Microsoft co-ops the technology, gives it away as part of the operating system, and does everything in its power to choke the competitor's product out of the key distribution channels. See, now, kids, 
if you're young enough and all you know is Microsoft has this you know, uh, upstart underdog company that, uh, you know, is finally getting things right. Where they used to be really bad guys. Uh, you're high. Uh, this is a Michael Dukakis quote. Uh, you know, we have 5% of the world's population in this country. We are consuming 50% of the world's cocaine. Uh, out of everyone here, fuck, Mary, kill, Ross Perot. Which one of these three candidates as uh, young men, would you want your daughter to marry? Uh, oh, do, 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 do. I'd tap that. Women are the largest untapped reservoir of talent in the world. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Uh, we want a world unmolested by blank. You should be allowed to leave the world unmolested by the IRS. Uh, you're a major league asshole. That's Adam Clymer, major league asshole from the New York Times, George W. Bush. Uh, and that was followed, of course, by uh, Dick Cheney's, uh, yeah, big time. Uh, get your head out of your ass. The trouble with Hooker is he's got his high headquarters where his hindquarters ought to be. That's uh, old Honest Abe. Muslims love Christmas. Uh, the Muslims treat Moses as a great prophet. Uh, swearing, really? Uh, which, of course, is our, our little, like, uh, our, our rebuttal card of all the curse cards. The foolish and wicked practice of profane cursing and swearing is a vice so mean and low that every person of sense and character detests and despises it. George Washington, who... Uh, uh, definitely ran a army filled with people who drank a quart of rum a day. Read the book, 1776. Uh, I'm king shit. Sure, it's a big job, but I don't know anyone who can do it better than me. That's JFK. I wanted this card to be I'm king shit of fuck mountain, but it didn't fit. It's better if it's just I'm king shit. That's a Mr. Show reference. Uh, Christmas plus me equals fuck yes. Uh, now people ask me all the time how we get four budget surpluses in a row. What new ideas do we, can we bring to Washington? I always give them one word answer. Arithmetic. That's slick Willie Clinton. Uh, FDR. Anyone who tells you they believe in Christmas is full of shit. FDR. Uh, let me warn you guys. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, let me warn you. and Let me warn the nation against the smooth evasion that says, of course we believe in these things. <laughs> uh, Lyndon B. Johnson. This fucker needs to get dick slapped. Uh, the actual quote is, if the circumstances make it such that you can't fuck a man in the ass, just pecker slap him. <laughs> LBJ. What a man. Uh, I'd make it illegal to shit on Christmas. I pass a flag amendment that would protect our flag from people urinating on it, defecating, uh, tearing it, and burning it with contempt. Or in hatch. Uh, torture is worse. Trust me. I was tortured 15 times. That's total submission. They did uh, that with the shutting off your blood circulation with ropes, giving you claustrophobia and pain at the same time, bending you double. This is one of my favorites. Pimping ain't easy. Oh, wait. No, no, sorry. That's none of your damn business. That's where we're at. Oh, wait. What are there you talking go. about? That's none of your damn business. Sorry, I was on the wrong card. Uh, that is, uh, I may be president of the United States, but my private life is nobody's damn business. Chester Arthur. Apparently doing some real balling shit behind closed doors. I'm against child porn. I don't, I don't want to see the kiddie pornographic laws repealed. George H.W., 41. I shouldn't take any shit for that. I don't think I should take any shit from anybody on that. Do you? Bill Clinton. Got any more dumbass things to say? I do know dumbass questions when I see dumbass questions. Or an action. Yeah. Uh, I don't shake hands with anybody from San Francisco. Decorators. Oh, shit. Gay slayers from Tricky Dick Nixon. Uh, America can't get enough of these nuts. 
I was an actual, he was an actual D's nuts card. I'm a 15 year old who filled out a form, had the campaign catch fired, and now I'm uh, up to the best third party number since Ross Perot. The actual quote from D's nuts. <laughs> uh, go fuck yourself. Uh, that's a, a, a real GFY from Dick Cheney. Fuck Christmas. Uh, fuck your parliament and your constitution. America's an elephant. Cyprus is a flea. Greece is a flea. These two fleas continue itching the elephant. They might just get whacked good. Damn. Gangster move. Uh, fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck Christmas. Fuck you, motherfucker. It's not funny after a while. Deep down, we're all whores. Politics is supposed to be about the second oldest profession. I have come to realize that it bears a very close resemblance to the first. Adultery. Oh, these are the topics. Yeah. All right. So here, let's get done with the uh, with the with the quotes here. It's under your damn business. Here we go. Pimping ain't easy, nor should it be. Uh, commerce with all nations, alliances with none, should be our motto. Thomas Jefferson, the OG fucking pimp. Yo, maybe you should tell them that these are blue because they're politically incorrect to make it obvious. Yes. But the other side of the card will be the same color. I think you just did, Joe. Great. Why don't you tell them that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell them about that time. That yes. Karen's called Pella. So yeah, uh, yeah. You uh, these are blue. They're blue because they're the politically incorrect deck. So you can tell the difference. Uh, and if you are playing, uh, if you have kids or something, you can play the game with your kids. You can play with the blue cards, and you can easily sort the blue cards out. So you can take them out. So you can play the game with your kids, and they don't have to see shit about and stuff. Uh, all right. AIDS is nature's retribution for blank. AIDS is nature's retribution for violating the laws of nature. Pat Buchanan. Yeah, it's a rough one. Uh, paper beats rock, bitch. A president uh, must not only assure that we're tough, but we must also be wise and smart in the exercise of that power. Walter Mondale. Uh, I've got plenty of fucks to give. Uh, just a one finger victory salute. George W. Bush while raising a middle finger to the camera. Which I think might be one of our only cards that actually has stage direction on it. Uh, so you swing both ways. Aren't you trying to have it both ways? Carrie Bauer. And, and that is all our... Nope. It continues down here. All these, and it picks back up. Uh, no, these are the same ones. Huh? Yeah. It repeats? Yeah. You want a world unmolested by... Oh, yeah. It repeats. Yeah. Uh, so now we are getting into the... Uh, these are the topic cards. So basically, if you're unfamiliar with the game uh, and you didn't see the rules, here's how it works. You uh, have your hand of cards, five cards, and you play the best argument you can, stringing together up to three cards per hand or per uh, round, rather, to make your best argument. So, the topic card is what you are playing against. So these are essentially, in our metaphor, what the moderator is asking the presidential candidates. So let's go ahead and see the incorrect decks. Uh, what's it called? The, their topic cards. So here we go. Um... This is your child. This is our crowning achievement. We love your child. We love this one. Uh, your child, candidate. In what some would call a personal squabble, several of you made comments questioning each other's parenting abilities. Now that you're all on the same stage, would you like to clarify your comments about the other candidate's child? So just so you understand the power of this card. Just pulling it, it can, in anywhere. It can fill into... Muslims love your child. Or your child plus me equals fuck you. Or uh, fuck anyone, your child. Anyone who tells me you they believe in your child is full of shit. Fuck me, fuck you, fuck your child. And AIDS <laughs> is nature's retribution for your child. So I'm gonna do a normal one. Uh, and then these are some of the normal cards. So. I like your child, but I don't like like your child. <laughs> uh, so that's that's the your child card. We love the your child card. 
Uh, this is the genocide card. Uh, candidate, you've been roundly criticized for using the word genocide when referring uh, for refusing to use the word genocide when referencing the ongoing civil war in the Balkans. Do you believe the actions taken by the acting president are indeed a systematic slaughter or a series of innocent, isolated events? Uh, prostitution. Candidate other nations have passed legislations making it illegal to pay for sex, but legal to be a prostitute. Are you abreast of developments on this issue, or have you been dicking around? <laughs> abortion. Candidate, you've stayed vague on the topic of abortion. Will you promise to protect your stance on this issue for the life of your political career? Or do you retain the right to choose a different path? And finally, adultery. Candidate, you've spoken at length about your past infidelities. Can you promise the voters watching that this behavior is behind you? Or you will you be getting behind someone else? Uh, so that, that's the politically incorrect deck. Uh, it repeats twice here on this sheet. Uh, so how many cards is it total? 40? Yeah. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's... Five. Yeah, yeah, 40. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50! 50. 50. 50 cards. 50 cards. Uh, so this is basically... And also, what I would like to do, and I don't think that they'd let me periscope from the floor because they have a lot of proprietary shit, but I would love to go down to our... Uh, or what's it called? Our, our, uh, Turn yeah, because they would only let me take pictures like very far away because they were afraid of other shit getting on camera mm -hmm. uh, when I went and visited. But uh, but it's amazing what they did. I saw. I don't know if I should say this. I'm gonna say it. Uh, I saw Settlers of Catan cards coming off the uh, off the line, and I was like, oh my god, someone's gonna play Settlers of Catan with this shit. I, I'm very easily. Excited. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. So this comes off, <clears throat> and then they, you know, they chop it all up. They have like a whole fucking system. Uh, it's insane what, uh, what, like how much control they have. Like they have a dude watching it come off these super high end printers, uh, and he's watching. They're also like taking uh, digital picture copies of it. And so they're checking every sheet to make sure the color consistency is there. It's internally adjusting to make sure the uh, consistency is there. And then they have a dude there who can make other adjustments to it if it's not still not to standard or oh. can take shit off. It's insane. So sweet. Um, so anyway, all right. I would go through all of these with all of you, except for the fact that in talking about them, I'm not actually reading them, but I have to go back and read all of these again to make sure that the actual proofs are done. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, again, pre-order. Thecontender.us is where you can pre-order. And do it now and not later when we really start hammering on this because it's, it's going to go up $5. And, and you need to, uh, you know, you want to get it when everybody else gets it on our first shipment. It's a, it's a pretty big thing. You don't want to be the one left out. Also, it's like we're getting it closer and closer to Christmas. You're going to want it. So you can, and you're going to want to buy another pack. So you're going to play with your friends. And they're going to want to buy a deck. It's going to be a fun time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We will be back. More contender stuff coming. There's going to be a lot of, we got a lot of news. A lot of news coming up, guys. Uh, thank you uh, very much. All right.